I will, I will dive right in. Um, the um, interesting thing about uh, making a film like this is uh, Jacobs and Moses are iconic figures to uh, urban planners and architects, but uh, it was surprising to me. Um, I learned very quickly that most of the, the broader world isn't aware of them. So uh, one thing I like to do as a, a mission as a filmmaker is to make films that don't preach to the converted. So I didn't want to make a film for uh, graduate students in urban planning. I wanted to make a film for uh, a broader audience than that. And um, as I was saying before the film started, um, one thing that um, struck me about uh, the subject matter is that the world right now is urbanizing at this extraordinary pace. Uh, the statistics are really daunting. And by the end of the century, we'll be almost some, let's say, 80 89% urbanized, it's somewhere in there. We're about f just over 50% urbanized on the planet right now. So the, um, really the issue of urbanization, you can make an argument, is the, the greatest issue of our time. Um, although it doesn't get the attention that issues that are adjacent to it, such as climate change, tend to get. So when we started the film, um, uh, we were looking to that, because when you make a documentary, everyone wants to know how it relates to today. Uh, that's just the imperative that every financier, and this is uh, foundation funded in large part as well, wants to know, which I think uh, is the pressing imperative and the big issue. Um, by the time we were done with the film, uh, Jacobs's activism um, really uh, rose to the top of the agenda because uh, this is so important. Uh, in our present day. I was watching on Rachel Maddow last night, uh, Elizabeth Warren, who um, made this statement that I thought sounded like something maybe Jane Jacobs might have said today, which is, uh, democracy over the past few months has changed. Um, we can no longer uh, be passive, basically. So one of the most extraordinary um, archival clips we found uh, of Jacobs and I can talk about the, our, the search for the archival and Jan Jacobs on film versus Robert Moses on film, which is an interesting issue unto itself. But when we found the archival footage of Jacobs saying the lines, stop being victims, I think it's wicked to be a victim. It's more wicked to be a predator, but it's wicked to be a victim. Uh, sort of like my hair stood on end. Uh, it's such an astonishing quote, and it's so interesting uh, one of the things that's remarkable about, about Jacobs is she had such an amazing way of speaking but also writing that was a little different. She's a clear writer and she's a clear uh, direct speaker, but who puts things like that? You know, it's, and we live in a post-Oprah world where the victim, we're very aware of victimhood today. So when someone comes right in your face like that and says, stop being a victim, it, it really stops you. And Elizabeth Warren said something very similar to that. Uh, she could have even said it in the, in the more forceful, gutsy Jacobs way. She said it in her own way, which is, of course, perfectly appropriate. But 